I'm Mike Reese. I am a mission specialist. I'm Denise Reese. I'm also a mission specialist. Mike and I do a lot of uh, adventure travel. Uh, we go on a lot of explorations. We've been to the North Pole. We've been to Antarctica a few times. We've been... North Korea. We climbed Kilimanjaro. My name is Renata Rojas, and I'm a mission specialist. I'm a technical diver. Uh, this is my local waters. I dive here in New York. Uh, the local shipwrecks, of course, very interesting. You don't have to go far for real adventure. Here's this thing, right? We live in Manhattan. It's right there. A fantastic, great thing. You can tell them the Hudson Canyon is, what, is bigger than the Grand Canyon? We were on this boat, this sort of working utility boat, and we met the crew. We lived with the crew. They, they were all so interesting, all so accommodating. I thought uh, there's a bunch of very interesting characters here. Something about COVID too is just this, you know, we were in a bubble. We are a group of, I think, 16 people. We've all been tested and we're all on a boat together. And this is the most relaxed, I think, well, we've been in months and months. If you can get yourself into a bubble, uh, you're not worried for a while. So I recommend this kind of trip for as long as pandemic lasts. We tested for it a few weeks before the trip, so I, would, I could make sure we were in good shape and then tested exactly the day before the trip. Again, for, for purposes of the boat, so they saw we were coming on with no problem. We watched a science fiction movie and then we got in the submarine and go, oh, we're just living the science fiction story. Cyclops One is actually very roomy and spacious. Five people fit in it, so no, I do not feel close to public at all and uh, you can actually lie down and take a nap if you really wanted to. Getting there is, is like an action movie. You really feel like you're in an action movie going from a moving boat to a moving speed boat and that, and then you gotta go and get, get off that boat and onto a platform and that's rocking and you gotta climb a ladder to get into the sub. Hey, you know, you're living real action. Everyone takes real good care of you. But you go from all that excitement into the sub, and then suddenly it's a sci-fi movie. There was a moment when a, a whole group of squid just f flew by really fast in front of our window. That was very exciting for me. With a sub, you can spend hours on the wreck without any decompression. It's priceless. We saw this many times, but the best was to see an old lobster pot, a band of lobster pot. And you see a bunch of sharks just laying on it. They're just laying there. You go, oh, this. This is what fish do when you're not looking. They're just a bunch of bumps. They're a bunch of freeloaders taking it easy. It was like a recliner under the sea for them, just resting all day, all night. That was very exciting to see all of that life down there. It really was like we went to another planet and came back. That's the feeling I had. A mission specialist is somebody who's going to be fully involved with the expedition. My job in this, in this expedition was to take pictures and handle all the cameras, make sure they were running. Mike drove the Mike sub. Mike drove the sub. It's got a joystick control. 
and it's very easy to drive. Anybody can do this. This is genuine adventure, you know? They, there are places things could have gone terribly wrong, but they didn't, and so you're always in good hands, but this is real life. This is real excitement and adventure. You really can feel like, oh, I did something. I'm not just a piece of baggage that was brought from one place to another. I'm thinking, this has never been done before. So you're not expecting everything to be like a menu. It is really happening. We are all learning this together. I've been following this expedition crew for several years, and they're very ready to, uh, to handle any situation on, on any submersible dive. You're an explorer. You're like the polar explorers, those first guys who just knowing not everything is prepared for and things may go wrong and you may have to think yourself out of a problem. That's, that's a real thrill. When, when we are resurfacing again, we're coming up and sunlight's coming in and the water's going from dark to green and bubbles are coming up and it is, it's just like magic. It's just like Avatar. And yeah, a key thing is just, no, none of us wanted it to end. It's wonderful. It's the best thing I've ever done. We hear in October that you are going to do the, uh, a, a dive to a Nazi submarine, a sunken uh, U-boat. So that sounds great. I hope to join Ocean Gate for the Titanic expedition, which is happening next year. We're going to do it again. <laughs>